space, the final frontier. Well, today we're going to be looking at a few Mego things. Uh, so I was in B&M, our local B&M, for the first time in 12 weeks since the lockdown started. Um, not a huge amount of new stuff in there, but they did have a couple of the uh, Mego Ahura figures, which I've never owned the Ahura figure, even on the original line. Um, I don't think it was released in the first wave of UK figures in the uh, sort of early to mid 70s. Um, certainly it was when I was collecting in the 80s and 90s, it was the very hard to get crew figure. Um, but they had a couple, so I, I picked them up. Um, and what, it, what it's shown me is that the packaging on these figures, there's got two very distinctly different ones. Let me see if I can move the camera and show you a bit better. So, if you look at the two, the way the hair's done on these figures. So this one's got almost bangs going on, and then this one has got like a almost a bouffant hair, um, and it makes the faces look completely different. <laughs> I think they just like looking at them. I think they are the same face, but this one makes the eyes look sort of darker. Um, she has got a weird twisted. Uh, body going on. So I think what I'm going to do is open this one, the, uh, the one with bangs, and we'll have a look. So let me uh, open it up and we'll have a look. Okay, so a quick look at the box. So the Lieutenant Ahura 8 inch action figure, 14 points of articulation. And on the back you've got Ahura, dress uniform Kirk, dress uniform Spock. Um, I've got a feeling they did have these here and had I sort of been, had my wits by me, I'd have bought them because I, I have the Tribbles version of these but not the dress uniform and so I might have to take a trip back there and weirdly just Romulan Commander in this one. Um, and there's a, a Marty Abrams question, what does Ahura mean in Swahili? Freedom. And then the usual write-ups, the UK barcode, they haven't even stuck it over it this time, they've stuck it over Paul Marty's face. And then Weirdly, the backdrop is the uh, mirror universe. You can see the evil uh, empire one there. So I don't know what's going on. Um, also, weirdly, on a lot of them it says Star Trek, but this one says pop culture. So interesting. The figure itself is actually really nice. Um, I've always looked at these like at toy fairs and things, the originals, and thought they look, they feel really quite fragile. Um, they look so you've got like really delicate joints, um, but they're actually pretty good. This one's made quite nicely. The shoulder joint doesn't work on either side, so, uh, no, so I might have to take it apart and have a look as to why the shoulder joints. Um, you get the little tricorder, which is really nice. Um, I might give that to Mr. Spock. I don't know. You notice that Herbert doesn't get a phaser. Obviously, being a woman, she can't handle things like that. I don't believe that, of course. It could be that she just couldn't, uh, she couldn't hold it with her tiny hands. I've got a Kirk, which we're going to look at in a minute. But look at the side, the hand different size. Look at that. Hello. It's like a, it's not even a child's hands. I mean, what are they thinking? Um, the face is quite a nice sculpt. Um, the hair is, I mean, I'm not a great fan of rooted hair. And this is particularly strange. I mean, look at her side is. The hair should have come down a bit. And it's sort of, there's obviously something gathering it. I don't want to pull it apart. Oh, it's, it's, oh, I see. So she's actually got elastic coming out of her ear around the back holding the hair on. I never knew they would do that. Um, removable boots. Don't want to come off. Don't want to break it. Um, very thin legs, but overall, nice figure it's going to go well on the shelf because the last of the crew people I needed um, screen printed badge of course not ribbon same with the, the, the um, rank insignia which is obviously different from the original but yeah nice 12.99 well spent what I'm going to do is undress her off camera of course and have a look at these shoulders 
Okay, so her arms do move, but the, what they've done is strung her far too tightly. So as soon as you move the arms out, it pulls the elastic and the arm sort of disjoints itself. This one's a bit better in that you can actually move it. But yeah, she feels far too highly strung. Tightly strung, I should say, that's a Freudian slip. Um, but uh, yeah, nice figure. Glad I picked it up. I'll have to go back and see if the uh, Kirk and Spock are the ones I think they are. In the meantime, uh, I bought this figure ages ago, and you can see a video for that in the playlist. Uh, and then the face paint, is, well, the, it's not much face paint on it, but the eyebrows and hair is awful, so they've made him almost red-headed, almost ginger, and his eyebrows are just too far up his head. Also, he has a huge dink in his head. So what I'm gonna do is take the head off, pop it in some boiling water, see if we can shape it, and then we're gonna repaint the hair and the eyebrows just to see if we can get it looking a little bit better. Okay, well the good news is the huge ding in his head did come out, so I just dunked it in boiling water, squeezed it, ran it under a cold tap, and it seems to have popped the ding out. So it looks a bit better. Um, what we wanna do is repaint the hair and try and repaint the eyebrows, but I need to get these eyebrows off. So I don't know whether just normal thinners will do it. So what I'm going to do is use a... Okay, you can get these tiny, tiny little Q-tips now. So they're really good for dipping into, into uh, different materials for using. So I'm going to use thinners. It might not touch it. But we'll give it a go. Look at that, that freaky a lot. <laughs> That's interesting though, so if I use this thin as it's from, uh, it's called Malfix, it's from Lidl, it's like three quid from Massive Ripley Tub, it's good for acrylics though, but it's interesting to know it takes off this paint because sometimes it would be handy to strip them right back. Look at that. Now she looks better just without eyebrows at the moment. But yeah, so I'm going to repaint them on. And I'm also going to darken up Kick's hair. So I'm going to use some Rhinoxide, which is quite a nice all round darkish brown. Okay, so I'm gonna, you see it's a much darker brown, so I'm gonna paint that all over. Let's do his eyebrows. Draw them in lightly to start with. Tidy that one up a bit, it's going to be lumpy. Okay, 
So I'm going to do that, do the rest of the hair. And then I'm probably also going to take his trousers in a bit because they are massively baggy. Um, so let me do that and we'll come back. Okay, so that was a nice, quick, easy fix. So he looks much, much better with darker hair and decent eyebrows. He looks more like the Mego Kirk we know and love. I've taken his trousers in so they look much better, less baggy. Um, so let me stand him next to a hurler. Okay. So, as you can see, let me just get them lined up. They can hold hands, he can hold a tiny little hand. There we go, get them into focus. So yeah, so it looks much better with darker hair. It looks more like Kirk. Um, I, I might nip back and see if I can spot those other uh, dress uniforms and see if they need fixing as well. There does seem to be huge variations on quality control for these figures. So if you do see them about, pick the nicest one you can. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's any uh, different Star Trek figures around where you are. Uh, B&M's seem to vary greatly in what stock they get. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.